It's January 23rd, 2022. The garden looks pretty much the same. Let's start with the sweet allison. You can see some part of the plants has died. Um, I think it's because of the, um, the freezing temperature. Over here is the blueberry, um, some dormant buds, but they're not too apparent right now. Here's the saffron. The end of the leaves are turning a bit yellow, but I don't think it's dying back yet. Here's the grape, not seeing any apparent dormant buds either. And here's the mulberry, um, nothing too much either. And here's the raspberry, all the flowers are gone. I'm gonna clip this off. And you can definitely see the dormant buds on the stem right here. Here's the lavender, um, doesn't look like it's growing too much anymore. And here's the rosemary, um, looks kind of sad. You can see a lot of dead leaves. Um, I think it's also because of the freezing temperature. Here's the bulb plant. Let's start over here with this crocus. If you look closely, you can see some crocus sprouts forming. And over here is the daffodil. There's um, a lot more sprouts. These sprouts are a lot taller now. And on this side of the pot, you can see some new sprouts forming. Here's the other crocus. Um, a lot more new sprouts as well. And here's the hyacinth. You can see some new sprouts forming on this side. And the sprouts that formed a few weeks ago, you can definitely see the flowers forming. All of different colors, actually. And then over here is the snowdrop. You can see a cluster of sprouts forming over here. And over here is the Persian Pearl Tulip Sprout. They're definitely getting a lot taller now. And over here is the Summer Snowflake Sprout. Here is one of the pots. And here's another um, Summer Snowflake Sprout. And here's a few more. And over here we have the um, Puskinia, I think. Um, it's kind of hard to see, but there are two sprouts in this pot for now. Here's one, and there's another one over there. It's very hard to see. And this is one single tulip sprout. I moved the rosemary downstairs, and looks like it's doing fine for now. And here's the shooting star variety hydrangea. You can see those leaves are um, dried up now. Um, can't broke them off just yet. Here's some more dead leaves. But also you can see those green sprouts are still alive. Um, doesn't look like they're dormant, but I guess they're kind of dormant because they're not really growing and you can see the leaves are kind of closed in the middle. And here's the uh, winter jewels. Um, these two flowers have opened. Looks very pretty. Gonna give you a closer look of the flower structure. And other than this cluster, we actually have two more, uh, which is right there. And here's the other one that's also flowering. Here's the indoor garden that's filmed two days later. The frizzle sizzle is actually still sending out new leaves. You can see right here is a new leaf forming and inside is another new leaf. And this other bulb is also sending out new leaves. Right here you can see a few new leaves forming. And here's the cylindrical snake plant. 
um, some new growth forming at the bottom of the plants and here's another new leaf forming I also cut off one of the leaves because some um, some parts you can see it's rotting and I don't want it to spread and here are the orchids the Philanopsis flowers are still looking great and here's the other Philanopsis you can see the individual flower buds now probably gonna open really soon here's the dendrobiums um, the flowers are still looking great um, some of the flowers have started to fall like these ones over here so I think they're gonna start to fade pretty soon and here are the dendrobium new groves looking very healthy here's another one the rest of the orchids are done flowering uh, as you can see I clipped off the old flower spikes from the mini oncidium and odontocidium and here's the pitcher plant look at how nice the new growths are looking um, there are a total of three little new growths now they're actually pretty big and here's one of the pitcher that has formed over these past weeks um, you can definitely see that little cap structure now and the pitcher body for sure looks really cute the tip of the leaves on this old growth uh, are becoming kind of curly as you can see right here I'm not too sure what it means hopefully that means it's getting enough humidity but we will see and there's a lot of new growths on the Hoya plant right here you can see this one is getting super long and here's another new growth right here here's the um, maiden hair fern um, a lot of new growth actually you can see here's new leaves however the um, older leaves are still turning brown from the middle of each of the leaves which is kind of concerning still 